in this exercise one we were supposed to run nginx container with port forwarding as well as volume mount from your host machine let's i hope you have done the exercise let me showcase the uh, outcome so i have my docker images nginx images there right so now command to run image with volume mount is so first i am doing a port forwarding then i have to say minus v which is volume mount similar to minus p for port i'm going to give a path on my current machine followed by the path where i want to mount the drive inside my container the type read only name of the container and the image name okay so wait first let me create and see if i have where is my current directory and do i have www directory no not there so first let me create the directory www now inside my directory i want to just say echo one file index.html so i have this file here now i'm going to do docker run volume mount with my directory where i have my html files and the volume mount expected inside the nginx container now how would i know that this is the volume mount so what you have to do is like you have to go and look at the documentation for the uh, nginx container so most of the time when anyone creates a container all this is documented very well so if i go on to the nginx container here i'll find that they've given this option here where it says that whatever is your content that you want to mount mount it on this folder inside the container and it will be picked up by the nginx right so read documentation which has lots of other options as well so now i'm going to run this started my container is running now and port forwarding on 80 if i go to my local host i can see that the file instead of standard nginx file i have a sunit parek written there let's go ahead and add one more file go another parek index.html2 if i go ahead and do index2.html I can see another part. So that's how you can mount volume from your host machine inside your container. Now, if I run another image, again, uh, remember that uh, if I do uh, minus D nginx, start another one. So if I if I let, let me do the port forwarding on uh, another port so that I can see right my web two okay so it's on 81 and you can see that if i go to localhost 81 i see standard nginx file right just zoomed it okay so it's running now we'll see multiple containers are running and all i'll give you one extra tip in this exercise demo if you want to clear and remove all your docker containers which are running so say docker if I want to say PS minus A minus Q is going to just print the IDs of the Docker container. I can pass it to Docker stop dollar Docker PS minus AQ to stop all the containers that are running. So this is like just a quick tip on how to stop all the containers. And if I look at Docker PS minus A, I'll have still a lot of containers there. Now, if I want to remove all these containers, because until you remove, they are not cleared off completely, right? You can again say Docker RM dollar Docker PS minus AQ. Now everything is gone. So that's how you take care of cleaning up your uh, running containers and removing it completely. That's all in this exercise.